Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rafe Cal. Jumping right back into FF4 Randomizer. Going into Dwarf Castle. Because... Apparently we feel like getting trolled more. <laughs> because it's next on our list. That's really about it. Okay. Uh, let's get some sirens. Actually, I think we have stuff to sell. I don't think we'd take a ready uh, at this point, so we'll sell that. Keeping some of this in case we do that Cecil. Or in case we find an edge. Uh, Cecil and edge are both gonna be a little bit more powerful than- honestly I may even switch- I'll probably switch out a Forum. If I get one of those options. Runax. Uh, our Sid just got a little better. This scene has been really interesting so far, and I use that in both the literal and the sarcastic sense. Um, <laughs> like, this is not a standard party by any means, which makes it kind of fun, because you get to you have to be a little creative. But on the other hand, <laughs> it's been a pretty rough ride. I really hope that we find a sand ruby for this. On one hand, because we have like, we have the gear to make Cecil, like, invincible and super powerful. Like... Seriously. Uh, that's Odin, I think. And the Kelbrenna spot. We don't have good lightning stuff. We're not going to have a, ch a chance to switch gear. Okay, so we need to start off with Silkweb immediately. Not enough. And I didn't heal. Which means I don't have the MP to do twin. Yeah, no, we're totally hosed. That was a bad mistake on my part. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try that again. Um. Yeah. Yang needs the Thunderclaw. We didn't actually do the re-equips for these characters. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with that. Uh, Runex was up there. Uh, Giving these care or er, Pelham, giving the Porums a little bit of uh, 
a boost to their black magic stat is actually really good still because twin goes off black magic. Uh, I believe Odin counts as a mage. I could be wrong. Then we're going to go back out and heal and save. I'm pretty sure we can actually beat this. We just need to actually take our time on it and do it well. I'll be fair and say we may need to turn battle speed down too. Actually, let's just do... We'll do one note, one notch on battle speed for now. We don't have Bacchus wine. So basically what our plan is going to be here is Silkweb, um, Berserk, Berserk, Boom. See, you just gotta prep right. <laughs> Especially for fights that are part one of two, because we have another fight to go. And this one's probably gonna be rougher. Dark Elf. Is that harder? Oh, hey, Rosa. Out of space again. Forum's okay. Rose is amazing. We have to get her some levels, but we needed to grind still, so. That's fine. Yang's already starting to pull his weight, so that's good. Uh, I don't know if I've got the stuff to heal her. I do have a heal. Okay.
We'll take it. Honestly, having some mix and match white mages isn't a bad thing. Um, Callum learns certain spells at lower levels, and Rosa learns certain spells at lower levels. Darkness Crystal. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I should check out who the character is on the moon, at least, before I grind, because I was about ready to do a grind. And I'm kind of feeling like if we're doing that, we should just... We're really full. Okay, let's get the moon. Do I have a good character? I don't have any good ways to deal with those dragons right now. It's probably better to do a few eggs. Because we can use coffins on those. It's a lot less XP. It's probably okay. It's probably gonna be a lot faster, so. So I'm checking the shop and the character here. I'm going to check the character first. So I know what I need to sell or keep. Um, let's see. Fusoya would be fine. I've mentioned, uh, well, that makes that decision easier. <laughs> You're lying. Tella did not join. We don't, <laughs> we don't tolerate Tella around here. Yeah, I don't think we can do a Ryu grind right now. I'm trying to just... Before I do that, before I go back down to the surface, what else do I have on the surface that I can do? Like...
just really not a lot. Yeah, honestly, we may be we may be staying on the moon. Staying on the moon is a good thing. Okay. So I think we're pretty set that we're not getting an edge. We're not getting a black mage. We're not getting a Rydia. Fire some Bacchus wine. Uh, Bacchus wines let you berserk yourself, basically. <sighs> Oops. Yeah, at this point, the only other thing we've got is Land of Summon Monsters, I think. And that's not any easier than the Moon Boss. It's not that much easier than the Moon Bosses. Especially with uh, Kanazo and Mylon's, uh, and Mylon being the spots there. The Mylon fight we could probably do, but I feel like... Finding some bosses here that are more beatable is going to be more beneficial. It's going to get us more key item spots. It's way denser as far as that goes. We'll probably get some paths to chase after this. Like we may get the earth crystal or the hook. But this at least gets us a good base and we can do our grind here to start off with. Cabrena. Um, hundred thousand. Let's try it. Okay, we've got stop off on the first half. Silkweb slows the whole or the whole group. Let's see what kick does actually. Like I know what it does, I just don't know how well it will do it. Not very. The answer is not very well.
The back row guys have way more hit points, so this may take a little bit. I'm going to refresh the hourglass just to be safe. Probably should have done that earlier, but that's okay. Lightbringer! Yay. Another sword for Cecil, who we don't have. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm just gonna do a couple more fights here. Apparently, literally, only a few more, cause uh. Not a ton of, uh... Not a ton of hourglasses here. And we don't have a good way to do this. Outside of just hourglass and sit. We don't have any good anti-dragon gear. We don't have weak. This is why I was saying we're going to do coffins. But then, since we're staying on the moon, it doesn't feel like it's worth it. But I do feel like we need a few more levels before we do more moon boss spots. Like, our damage output's not great. Boy, 70. Uh, these things have 8,000 hit points, by the way. So, yeah. This is going well. Ironically, I did the same thing in my last run. Where I didn't realize I didn't have a good way to fight these things. I'm honestly thinking we're going to have a better... We're going to have better luck just diving Lunar Subterrain and seeing how it goes. If I could remember where the, uh... There's a specific enemy that's somewhere in the Lunar Subterrain, 
that is actually probably a way better fit for us, and I totally forgot to life glitch that as I was talking. I think we're close enough that we should be okay. Never mind. Should be close. I feel much better now. <laughs> Cure 3 goes a long way. That's all I'm saying. I wish we had actual... key items to follow, but... I guess Lunar Bosses it is. Um... And we've only got one more cabin. Okay, so that's pretty much settles it. Uh, we have to be fairly efficient here. I probably actually shouldn't have used that cabin now that I'm thinking about it. Because I could have used the big whale or the uh, crystals. So I think I'm actually going to go to Hail Dim Spot first. Then we're going to back off and do the, crystal, the two crystals. Uh, let's actually do magic rearranging real quick. I have a pretty specific way that I prefer to have these set up. Uh, she doesn't have exit. Either. Is there a clink? Set it up so that the one that I want reflexively is on top. In the, and then the ones that I use conditionally are right below that. The ones I need to be able to have access to are right below that. Pretty much everything I use is two clicks or two presses away. Or regularly is two presses away. We'll see who this boss is. Plague. Crap. Messed up the timing on that. That should be okay-ish. So 
So basically we're just gonna have Yang go to town and just have revive a person every once in a while. When he realizes there's somebody there without count on him, he'll recast count. So we basically just have this uh, time delay, basically, of, you know, every X number of turns bringing another character back. Uh, so he had count on him, and then we lost the character with reflect. <laughs> that was semi on purpose. <laughs> I was trying to do it where. Uh... Oh, good. We got one piece of go mode. My intention was to have Edward originally put that reflect up before count went out so that he would never have count. It basically creates this loop. But him getting count and then having reflect up actually creates a, a different kind of interesting loop. I just realized I was going to go to the crystals and I didn't and I need to because I have one cabin left and I've got four checks. So I need to heal between some of them, potentially. So that I don't have to dive twice. Because there's a very real potential that I will have to run all the way up here to heal again in between. depending on who the fights are. So I'm really hoping that I'll get at least one quasi-free fight that I can then not have to go as far to heal. <laughs> or be able to just do healing with a few items and stuff instead of with uh, cabins. So we've not found the pass which is kind of annoying. Um, at this point, I'm really up in the air if I um, if I find the sand ruby, whether I'll do sea slayer or not. I'm leaning towards yes. Uh, if I find the spoon, we're much more okay with the party we've got. <laughs> Things that I'm very confused about saying still. It's a fun mode. I'm really looking forward to it. And to seeing Edward with the spoon. If you're not familiar, there's a spoon. Uh, there's a spoon. There's a scene where Tella uh, yells at Edward and calls him a spoony bard, which is possibly just a terrible translation. I'm not actually sure what the original Japanese is, or if there's some other meaning behind it. But because of that, the spoon item in the game has a special flag set where you can give Edward the spoon and make him a literal spoony bard. <laughs> the 
this is probably going to be another two and a half hour seed at this rate. <laughs> Again. This is actually not good. Like, <laughs> that's a lot of damage. That's not good. Not being able to one-shot those. Okay, so the back arm uses the vampire ability. Vampire is not a physical attack. And therefore, <laughs> will bypass the blink ability that we're using. If we kill both arms, he'll restore them. So we need to just take out the back arm and then keep casting blink. If something still goes wrong, we have Edward hidden so that he will never be attacked. It's one less person we have to keep blink up on. And it's one uh and it's kind of just a safety valve that if somebody dies, we can have Edward pop in, life potion pop back out. Uh, we're not berserking because we need to actually stop and target the correct thing. So we actually need to be targeting just the body. This is probably going to be a slightly long fight, but I feel like the strategy we're using is safe and worth it. That was a misclick. <laughs> That's what happens when these fights go on for a while. Okay, those arms luckily have enough hit points that we're okay. 
And I healed Porum when I got a chance earlier, so even if she does get attacked before she gets blinked back up, we're okay. Every little bit helps. I think I've got like one heal potion left, maybe? There it is. Faster and less MP than using the heal spell. I need to rearrange my party. Rose is a lot faster than Porum is, and having her in the middle actually probably giving the enemy extra turns. Uh, there's a weird mechanic in this uh, called agility anchoring, which is basically they based all of the uh, agility ratings for the enemies based on C uh, based on Cecil's agility, and Cecil was. Uh, so since you don't always have Cecil in your party, they shifted that to be based on, um, or in this, uh, they shifted it to be your middle character. And just hope that it doesn't kill somebody so we get the XP. <sighs> Luca key. Great. <laughs> Honestly, that's about. That is something I did not want to get right there. <laughs> um. One down. It's pro potential progression, which is really the key. Okay, D Lunar Spot, Wyvern. And I'm out of <laughs> Star Fails. <laughs> Can I get a wall cast up 
if I slow it way down? I don't think I can. Let's try it, I guess. Otherwise, we'll just try the other two spots. Okay, so even at battle speed 6, we can't get uh, an action in. And we don't have any more star veils because I accidentally used one earlier and didn't buy any more. So we'll let's try this spot. We'll try the actual wyvern spot. See what we get. And depending on what all we get, we'll either just roll with what we're where we're at or not. Rubicant. Uh, counts as a mage. Runax. Glare's probably just gonna one-shot people. This is going to be a rough fight. Also. <laughs> Let's check what the last one is, then we'll go get the stuff we need to actually beat these, because we can't right now. That's really what it comes down to. We don't have a party that can actually take that on. We don't have the gear we need. If we had a Ice Claws for Yang, or something like that, then I'd feel much better about it. But we don't. <laughs> like, I feel better about doing the Land of Summon Monsters bosses in Sealed Cave than I do about that. I feel like we're going to waste a lot of time. I feel like we're going to die a lot. If I had Star Veils, Wyvern would not be hard. But I don't. Uh, this should be fine. <laughs> we hourglass, we berserk, and we go on our way. Edward's HP is awful.
So my dream right now, <laughs> my best option would be for this item to be the spoon. <laughs> as ridiculous as that sounds. That gives us a much better offense to potentially go race Rubicon. I also need to get my Palum switched to the middle. We may actually be able to pull Wyvern off with if we had that. Eh, whatever. We lost out on like half the H or XP for that, which is really disappointing at this point. Earth Crystal. Perfect. Uh, that gives us one more key item check and two character checks. That's basically what we want. That feels like a good enough reason to leave. I also don't want to grind anymore with this party because it's rough. <laughs> and I feel like there's a decent chance that we're going to be switching somebody out. And by somebody, I mean multiple characters out. <laughs> Unless we get a, some miraculous, like... Again, if we get the spoon, Edward's worth keeping. If we don't, he's not. Um... Where's our key item count at? Eight. Eight. I don't think I've been to Taroya at all. That's not the right place. So let's do Taroya. We'll do Earth Crystal. Uh, that gives us two more character pulls. And potentially, I mean, any of these could still be Adam. That's one of the big things with this, that, like, we don't know adamants on the moon. Those bosses that I skipped on the moon could technically have adamant. They might not, though. And that's honestly, like, worth remembering. Go ahead and take our treasure. Dragoon armor. Soquab, another earth hammer. You know what? I don't feel like the protect's doing enough there.
Power of Zot's a lot lower level than some of the other stuff we've dealt with. And hey, from here the moon or the uh after some of those moon bosses, I'm feeling a lot better about dealing with uh <laughs> Land of Summon Monsters, Mylon and maybe Kanazo? Kanazo's rough. Kanazo in Leviathan spot sounds really rough. That's a high HP spot. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Unless we do the fight perfectly. We do have Lightning Claws on Yang, which should make him able to do a lot of damage, though. Those are all treasure chests. First boss. Golbez. Great. At least we got those cabins. So, the Shadow Dragon goes until you have two characters left alive. It doesn't detect Edward. So we'll have three characters instead of two. It also makes this go shorter, or take less time. Okay, we're 50-50, okay. We've got a precast wall there. He demolished Sid, which is fine. We want wall on our characters before we... She have wall, she doesn't have wall. We need more soap webs also. Uh, did her wall run out already? Okay, that's good to know. It's a slightly long, very annoying fight, but it works. I'll take that over... I'll take it there. I'll take Golbez in that spot over some of the other spots he could have been. And we have uh, gear on several characters that makes it a lot less scary. And we have cabins now.
Bobas when you're low on cabins is like the worst. Because you basically have to heal after that fight because he kills three quarters of your party. Fusoya. Huh. Yeah, Fusoya's probably better than Forum. Like, I feel so weird that I'm leaving Edward in on the off chance there's a spoon. But. Fusoya gives us a bunch of levels. He's better than... He, he's got to be better than uh, Porum. He's better hit point wise. He's better, or he's not as good MP wise, but we do have two Soma drops. He also comes with some decent gear. Uh, white robe is better than what he's got. Actually, we're going to go... We'll leave him with the sorcerer robe so he can bounce to black magic if he needs to. And we'll have her go white robe. Because it's... Just for white mages. Okay, let's see who the boss is. Miss Dragon. Uh, sure. I forgot to do my spell rearrangement there. Much like with the other character, or the other ones we were looking at, uh, we're just basically going to do a Blink Cascade here, because he should only use physical attacks unless we attack while they're missed. See, this is why I make these decisions. That's actually a double check also, because we get uh, Mist Dragon and we also get the tower spot, so. Two checks for one. Perfect. Pass. 
wonderful. We don't technically have to go back to the moon now unless it's in one of those spots on the moon. <laughs> so at this point, uh, this there are three items we're basically hoping for. One of them is the uh, one of them is obviously the adamant. It's the what we need to beat the game. <laughs> uh, one of them is the <sighs> seriously. So yeah, adamant. Uh, one of them is the spoon, which would make Edward into a really powerful character. And the other one is the sand ruby, which would let us recruit Cecil, which we have an Excalibur and a bunch of crystal gear. We'd be okay with a Cecil. <laughs> like, we haven't done serious any, we've done one fight for a grind. It's not a serious grind, by any means. And Cecil levels up really fast because he comes in at level 1 as a paladin. We haven't done our deals, so technically we could go do that after this check. Uh, Pan is two free items without having to do any more bosses, so that's priority. Uh secondary thing that I wouldn't mind getting is the hook. That is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. Yang, you have betrayed me. So now we can go back to Yang's wife, get the item from her. We also didn't get the three items in the king's room, so we're gonna grab those quick, even though we're, you know, super overstocked right now, apparently. Which I should really just fix. Oh boy, 300 gold. Eh. I don't think we actually have armor for Cecil, so that technically qualifies that. If we were to get the Sand Ruby here, of course. Hook. Hook is not my preference here, but it's something that we haven't... It's something. <laughs> uh, that should also put us at 10 key items, which means that we get double experience from here on, which makes the grinding sections that we still need to do much better. Uh... Yeah. Need to actually get the hovercraft. <laughs> then we'll do go uh, turn in the rat tail. No black belts like at all. Now, I haven't checked every armor shop, but still.
Nope. Okay. So our choices at this point are Sealed Cave, which is a long walk for one item. Granted, we can always check the cave and see if it's worth getting. We have 10 key items already. Uh, we can grind or we can do Land of Summon Monsters. I think I'm going to actually get a couple levels here. It's not going to get us a lot of levels at this point, but it's a little bit, and I really would like to just have that. Uh, it also clears this, the coffins out of our inventory, which may seem like a really s small thing, but at this point, I wanted to make use of them for this specific purpose, and now I have. That's what I bought them for, was killing eggs. Cure 4, Cure 3, Life 1, Berserk, Blink, Wall, Exit, Float, Heal. Black is way easier. You just go Nuke. There. <laughs> Okay, uh, summon monsters? I'm feeling summon monsters. Actually, I'm kind of feeling like maybe taking another break here, which is unfortunate, but we are over the two hour mark, and that's without taking deaths and resets into account. So I think we're going to wrap this one here, and I will pick back up here uh, shortly. So hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.